Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lesia and today I'm going to be doing my first book tag. It's called the How I Read tag, so let's get into it. First question of the How I Read book tag is how do you find out about new books to read? So uh, right now I am in the middle of reading different books, so I have different ways of finding out about them. I like to read the footnotes about books in all kinds of literary books like psychology books. When they talk about literary examples, they mention all kinds of books that you can read, so that's really fun. I also watch out for the Goodreads competitions and the Goodreads newsletters because they have updates on interesting books of the genres that I like. And of course, booktube is a big part of the books that I hear about right now. So I'm watching the Peruse project and the book Utopia, and I really love them both and I really enjoy them. So that's how I find out about books. And also recommendations from family, friends and my boyfriend who has a really good taste in books. So there's no losing like that. How did you get into reading? So as far as I remember, I was also always, always a big, big reader. I loved reading books since I was three years old and I remember my mom reading a bedtime story and I didn't have enough patience to wait till the next evening to know what's gonna happen next. So I just went and ahead and read myself. So that's basically how I got into reading. I just couldn't wait enough to hear the story from somebody else. I had to know it from myself. How has your taste in books changed since you've gotten older? Well, I would love to say that it changed dramatically or drastically, but in fact the only thing that's changed is that I am more curious about books related to business, books related to self-improvement, I would say, and also I love reading more complicated books that are going more in depth with the relationships between people, if that makes any sense. In books I'm looking for authenticity. If I see that the characters could really exist, if they could be that way, then I'm all into it. But if I sense that this is too simple or too complicated or too untruthful, I wouldn't be interested in that. Next question. How often do you buy books? Not nearly often enough, but also it's pretty hard on my wallet. Uh, I uh, bought books last week and before that I ordered books when I was in Amsterdam in the summer time, la la, which was in August. So yeah, it has been quite a gap and I would have ordered even more books if only I could. So I'm just eagerly awaiting for the possibility to purchase some and then nothing can stop me. How did you get into booktubing? So I discovered booktube through a Russian booktuber, Ulyalai, who I really love. She's talking about all kinds of books very passionately and I enjoyed her videos immensely and then I thought that maybe there was that thing that's called booktube where people could talk about books and I thought that this really suited me because books are a subject that is never ending. You can never run out of books, you always have something to look forward to, you can discuss your opinions and this is what I wanted to do since I was a very small child. I wanted to have my own book party where I could discuss books with somebody, with like a tea party with books and discuss stuff and do a club and I didn't get to do that so I thought that YouTube is my chance. So that's why I'm here. How do you react when you don't like the end of a book? Well, actually, um, usually I come to accept the end of the book, but my most big issue with the ends of the books is that they come too soon. So usually it looks like this. I read a book and then I read it and I see that there's nothing else happening. There's that fear in me when I get to the last page that there's only like half a page left and I know that there's not enough time to solve everything. So I'm gonna be panicking, then I'm gonna be finishing the page, and then I'm gonna be rereading the same paragraph over and over to make sure that this was it, that I didn't miss one word of what's happening. And then I'm gonna just sit, sit and stare and wonder how come it's ended so quickly. So yeah, and I'm like, there's so much unresolved stuff yet. How come this has ended? What do I do with my life now? Yeah, that's basically it. 
How often have you taken a sneaky look at the back page of a book to see if it's a happy ending? I never do it because it's kind of like watching the movie before you read the book. It's totally spoiling everything and I love the experience of uh, flipping through the pages and going through slowly or fast or ridiculously fast but I like everything that's happening in between. I want to know the story in its completeness. I don't want to miss out on stuff by sneaking a look into the back and making sure that this book won't give me any hard feelings otherwise what would be the point <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this tag and this video if you liked it give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tags and reviews and books and vlogs and everything and also thank you very much tiny teacup for um, nominating me for this video if you want to do this tag feel free to do it you don't have to ask me for permission you just have to feel free enough to talk about your how do i read style so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you later bye bye